Welcome to True Health Tuesday, and the truth will set you free. Today, we're going to talk about becoming your own doctor because being um, aware that your body is self healing and self regulating, um, the whole purpose of this, because we get so many questions is the purpose of all of my educational videos is to empower you with the knowledge that your body is, I mean, literally self-healing and self-regulating. And this is almost every single video I upload. And I've been doing this for decades now. Um, I get at least one person asking the question, where do I find a doctor or chiropractor like you? Now, when you're learning how the body works, understanding anatomy and physiology, is the key to learning how your bodily processes work. That's why the five keys to health will guide you through the process of radically improving your overall health. A chiropractor and healthcare professional, um, they only need to be there a fraction of the time. If you're always going to the doctor or always going to the chiropractor, it means that they're, they're missing something. Now, when it's not possible or very difficult to learn about your body and implement a solution. So, you only need the chiropractor or healthcare professional when they're, they're going to be your guide. They're going to be your teacher. They're going to show you how your body works and how your body is adapting. That's the job of a good doctor. Now, we've covered so many subjects since this past November, exploring the cervical spine, thoracic spine, lumbar spine. We've discussed what a good chiropractor should be. You've learned uh, solutions for literally spinal degeneration, arthritis, various spinal surgeries. We've explored the pelvis, the hip joints, the rest of the lower extremities. Uh, in the future, we're going to continue our journey through the body by learning about the upper extremities. Now, what you should know, just from these videos, you'll know more about the human body than most people. You may not be a doctor, but you have enough information to get the healing process started. Now, you should be able to answer the following question. How do you begin the healing process? And we covered this in every one, One Cause, One Cure. And, and that was a book by Fred Barge, and it's brilliant. And it, it might seem too simplistic, but in order to understand how your body responds to stress and how your body is gonna adapt to stress, and if you're addressing your body's adaptation to stress without addressing the underlying cause. And just think of this. If I stand on your foot and it's uncomfortable, yeah, let me tell you, if I'm crushing your toe, it's going to be uncomfortable. Instantly, the heart rate elevates. Instantly, your pupils are going to dilate. Instantly, blood supply to the gut's going to be decreased. And that's just somebody stepping on your toe. But what if you've had a long-term chronic illness? Now, you may be misdiagnosed with uh, elevations in blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, cortisol, adrenal fatigue, thyroid, all of those are responses to stress. So since that is the majority, and you figure 60% of Americans have a chronic illness or disease, and I'm talking the adult Americans, by working under this system that we currently have. That's why the educational videos that we produce are huge. So we advocate empowering you to become your own doctor, to become responsibility for your health by addressing the underlying problem, which is your body's adaptation to stress. So we've got to address the stress. Now, um, here's, here's a patient, and we're looking at before and after x-rays. Human neck should curve in the front. You're looking at a 21-degree negative curve. Uh, down to a negative three degree curve. Now, uh, I just had a patient, and uh, you know, we're looking at the nasium view. We're seeing the thoracic significant lateral deviations, the head laterally deviated, where the post or the after X ray shows it more in alignment. Now, this is hugely important because I just had a patient, and over the last couple of years, I've probably seen her maybe 60, 65, 70 times. And she's only 83, so that's why we're going to get good results. But we're showing significant changes in uh, the degeneration and reversal of the arthritis. And also, I'm showing another patient 
who's got beginning Parkinson's, and he did not have good changes. Now, which one do you think is dealing with their stress correctly? And obviously, I'm always talking about physical, chemical, emotional stress. So if you're addressing the physical stress, because the chiropractor, in that moment, I'm going to change the position, motion, and communication of that vertebral segment to the brain, changing your body's adaptation to stress. You also are going to be empowered with all the videos that we put out for generally ligamentous exercises to restore the natural curves, to restore that natural position, to in cross-crawl exercises, to restore that communication to the brain so we can get the brain's control of the body to be in a healthy, um, a healthy response because your body has two modes. One, it can be in a fight or flight or a sympathetic dominant state. The other, it can be in a rest, digest, and repair. Now, you need a balance of this. You don't want to be in a constant repair or parasympathetic state. You don't want to be in a chronic stress state. So addressing these underlying stressors is the key. Physical stress, beautiful. That can be done by you doing the exercises that are prescribed specifically for you based on your x-rays and then doing all the adjustments accordingly. Then the chemical stress. Now, poor sleep is a chemical stressor. It'll put you in that fight or flight state. So addressing sleep is hugely important. Uh, other things, chemical stressors like diet, nutrition, um, it, those are all vital. What supplements are you eating a nutrient-rich diet or nutrient-poor diet? And then emotional stress. And if your body is not working right, if you're watching the news, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, there's going to be emotional component. If you've been told that the disease is hereditary or it runs in your family or there's nothing you can do about it. There has got to be that emotional component. Just had a patient, that same patient was beginning Parkinson's. Was he doing any of the exercises? No. Was he, did he change his sleep patterns, his circadian rhythm? Absolutely not. And when I, when I said, buddy, you're under stress, and his wife says, no, he's not stressed. I'm, I'm telling you, if you're, if you're 70 years old, and your body's worked really, really well for over half a century, there is going to be an emotional component. That's just called being human. So you have to address all three. All three are equally important. And if you're addressing these underlying factors, then your body has the best chance to thrive and survive on our planet. So becoming your own doctor, looking at the nerve supply. Now, I advocate doing an objective analysis, an object where we're measuring an x-ray, we're measuring the nervous system, we're measuring the health of the blood, we're doing full, full torso thermography so we can identify areas of metabolic challenge. So you have an absolute baseline of where you're coming from. Exercise. Now, depending on what you're dealing with, we may have distractive exercises to regenerate certain joints. We may have cross-crawl exercise to help both halves of the brain. We may have ligamentous-based exercises to restore the natural curves. And, but just walking a half hour a day is going to be fantastic. Resistance, and this is every day. Proper nutrition, this is going to help radically with the chemical stressors. And this is all stuff that you can do. You can do at home, and you need to do at home. Because that self-care, imagine if you're, if you're in an airplane and that mask comes down for the roof, you got to put it on your face first, then you can help others. So your diet, the way I describe it to patients, there's no magic to it. Your diet's going to be consistent with your great-great-grandparents, okay? Organic, healthy, seasonal, buried, um, and, and fermented, and all the beautiful things that thousands of generations of our species has survived and thrived with. And then sufficient rest. This means this is when you're getting that rapid eye movement state of sleep, that regenerative, restorative sleep. And we have multiple, multiple videos to teach you, to empower you, to change that circadian rhythm so your body can regenerate. And this is what happens at nighttime. If our parents told us that sleep is one of the most important parts of your day, that this is when your body literally rebuilds itself, um, we'd pay more attention to it. This means not filling your mind with stress or stressful circumstances.
than prayer and meditation. If you want an objective analysis, look at every study involving prayer and healing. They all turn out better. It turns out that when you have a connection, when you're in that prayer state, when you're in that meditative state, and what, what do most of the religions say? Ask and it's given. Knock and the door opens. So you just have to be aware and get in that space, in that connection with your creator and the energy that, that's inside of you. And then, it, I mean, I, I tell my patients, I move the bone, God does the healing. Okay, it's so, so it's a partnership that you have. You have a responsibility with this beautiful God-given design. You have a, a stewardship knowing that your body is a collection of, of energies and cells and processes. That's the whole purpose of all of our educational processes or all our educational videos. So please take care of yourself. The chiropractor, healthcare professional is a very, very small part to identify, guide, and help you to restore that body, to correct past traumas, and that's the job of a good chiropractor and the job of a good healthcare professional. So if they're continually applying medications or there were the same therapies, uh, they might be missing the underlying cause, which is going to be the stress. Now, below, um, post your questions, and we'll get to them as quick as we can. God bless you all. <laughs> Take care, my friends. Stay healthy.